this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi there, this is the Maya bot. He runs towards us, which is not crucial for this tutorial. I was a little bit puzzled about what these controllers on the right of his head do. They even render, so they seem to be very important. When I, for example, pick this controller and I move it up or down, nothing happens. They are supposed to be eye controllers. Uh, this was kind of puzzling for me. So I posted a, a quest, this question in the Autodesk Maya forum. You find the Maya community here, post to forum, submit ideas, etc. Under animation and rigging, you find my pretty simple question. The eye controls for the Maya bot. And I enclosed this screenshot here and I got an answer from KLN and uh, he posted this video as an answer. And uh, I found this quite eye opening. So thanks for posting this. The problem is solved now. It's a little bit more tricky than I thought it was. Uh, but I want to talk about the eyes in general and I come back to these controllers just uh, in a couple of minutes. Now, first problem, new scene. When we create character animations, we are supposed to change the resolution of that grid. Currently, this is one centimeter and for character animations, it's usually meant to be one meter. So we need to change this. Go to Windows, Preferences, Preferences and right in the middle are the settings and we switch them from linear centimeters to meters. Now we have a big grid but the, this is one meter now and uh, now we can place using the um, Windows command again, the Windows menu again, the content browser and in the content browser under rigs we find the Maya bot. And when we press the key 6 we see the texture and something is really strange here. He does not have eyes. He does have these controllers but he has no eyes. I think I know why that is. It has to do with this node here. It's the mesh my eyes node and the mesh doesn't scale with the 100% bigger size of the scene. So if you use this robot you need to create a new scene in my case, not change the resolution of the grid so the ground plane is still centimeter, two centimeters. Now you go to Windows and Content Browser and import the bot which arrives very big in the scene, but now he has or she has eyes, or it probably, and the controllers are still here. Now in the outliner you see click me. This is important because this is the main node for manipulating this character, especially the eyes, and we concentrate on the eyes now. Uh, but uh, before doing that, let me put the hands down just um, to have him in a more relaxed position. When we use this controller, we move the eyes from the left to the right and up and down, of course. But these things, what are they good for? Now, let's go to the this icon here. It has to do with a smile. And for that purpose, we need to change the smile parameter. Where do we find it? Well, let's press Ctrl A again and we have the so-called channel box here. And the channel box is the main toolbox for animating characters, in most cases actually. And uh, here we have parameters for the left eye and down here we have parameters for the right, right eye. And for example, we have the smile somewhere. It's called happy. And let's set this parameter from 0 to 1. Now with the left eye expression happy set to 1, 
this shape rather than the round one, we can now enter the component view with the key F8 and, for example, move one of the faces up. And it doesn't change a thing. And the reason for this is that this is not for happiness. This is what is for happiness. And now um, let me choose a vertex like this one. And you see that this is following our manipulation. So this is how this works. You need to activate this. And once you reduce the um, intensity of that happiness to say 0 0.3 you have a mixture between the original happiness which is this shape and our manipulation here so the manipulation is still taking place I show you an animation now where I use this but instead of uh, manipulating the control vertices, the points on that uh, control surface, I used deformers, a sign deformer actually for both eyes. Just have a look. So let me recap this. Uh, for example, we can go to the right scared parameter, set it to 1, this is scared, and now you find the corresponding I can hear and you can move these points down or up. For rendering choose the display part here down under the outliner and uh, just deactivate the facial patterns. They are called facial patterns and then they don't render. Now let me explore a little bit of the eye shape. Lots of shapes here, tiny icons and that has to do with the mesh network. It's right here. This one is the click me. This is for the major animation of your character, including the eyes with the controllers, which I have hidden now. But this is the mesh network and it doesn't help you a lot using this channel box now. You need the attribute editor. And in the attribute editor, you see a mesh waiter which is the main mesh node and here you see that it's 1110 icons which are busy here if you want to see the whole mesh network it's best to go to actually mesh here and open the mesh editor the mesh editor shows you well two four six eight entries from the color to the distribution. When you click on distribution, you see that it's distributed on a grid. And when we go to the side, for example, of our bot, just have a look at the eyes, and uh, we change the grid in a Z to a higher value, and the distance in Z to a higher value, then the eyes move out. So this is, this is the grid, actually. It's a grid in 3D now. Uh, and of course we can reduce this to one again so the eyes shrink back. It's uh, the same thing with the distance in X and Y. Let me just break this connection so I can manipulate this value and this is what you get. You have manipulations of the eyes stretching in, to, in, in this dimension and the same thing of course here. I break this connection and I do this vertically. Uh, when I click on the replicator I see other things which I can manipulate and um, for example more replicants currently I just have um, two, no just one that is the best distribution for, for this, not too many but uh, with two for example I have a denser network which is not necessary for the eyes, it's a, it's a perfect setup really but this is where you can manipulate these things there's an a node which is called eyes pixel visibility let us break the connection and reduce that so this is a different effect from this one and this might be interesting for an animation as well 
the placement transform and this is uh, the effect which I show you in a rendered animation it's very nice so that's sort of tears you find them in the eyes placement transform node under random strength finally let me change the eyes color and uh, the color is here and when we choose a blue color for example the eyes look blue and we can change the random value and hue so we have these colors which of course we can animate as well and the whole scene has two lights so we can actually render them and the colors in mesh were hard to render in previous versions and I did a couple of tutorials about the color problem in mesh but here they seem to render all right I actually don't know why that is. Well, have a nice day. Bye-bye.